What's good, Bay Rushers? It's Kyler, and in today's video, we're gonna go over how to stake your polka dot. But before we do, just a couple quick announcements. Uh, the month of September, I'm giving away a Moonlander 2 USB ASIC miner. To enter into that giveaway, just leave your or leave any comment in any of my videos throughout September. Um, please follow me at BitRush9000 on Twitter, and you can also join my Telegram group, also at BitRush9000. Link in the description. All right, let's get into it, guys. So the first thing you need to do is open up your browser and come to where your extensions are. I believe this works for both um, Chrome and Firefox as well as Opera, actually. Um, so what you're going to type in is Polkadot. Okay, I guess it's not going to come up. All right, let's do a quick Google search. Polkadot JS Chrome. There it is right there. So it's going to be um, GitHub slash Polkadot hyphen JS slash extension. And let's see, where is this? Okay, so it is in the Chrome store. So if you come here, or where, wherever I just was, if you come to the GitHub, um, there'll be a Chrome store link right here. So not sure why we couldn't find it when we searched, but there it is. Okay, so just come down there, open that up. You want to add this extension to Chrome, add the extension. Very good. Okay, now that we have our wallet installed, we can go ahead and create a new wallet. Just click on that polka dot there, and you're going to have to do a new one. I am going to hide this for my own protection. Okay, so you now have a wallet created. Okay, so when we're transferring into our new Polkadot wallet, you need to come over here and open up um, the extension. Click on the three menu, and right here it says visible, always inject, and it says allow use on any chain. You need to just get the drop down, make sure this is on Polkadot, which is live net, so click Polkadot, and now from here you can copy your address. Now that we have the wallet created, we can come over to our Polkadot.js. And from here, we are going to click on Polkadot slash Substrate Apps, just right there. And that's going to open up that screen you just saw before. From here, we're going to come over to Accounts. And I actually created another account because... Uh, when I first started this, I wasn't sure exactly what, was gonna, what I was doing, so I was just kind of testing around with it. But you can create another account within here. Um, this is my, my crypto wallet extension right here, right? So what we need to do from here is get our Polkadot into this wallet, into our crypto extension wallet. Um, the best way to do that is going to be just take this right here and copy that address and come over to Binance. Okay from, uh, <clears throat> okay, from Binance, I'm just going to transfer out some of my Polkadot to that wallet. So I'm going to withdraw. Copy this address from our new Polkadot. And I'm going to withdraw 155. Once you have your polka dot in your wallet, you can now go to network and click staking. 
This will bring up all of the node operators and you can see the different uh, states that they're in and you can see how much others are staking with them, how much of their own is staked, the commission, and it'll also tell you how much the fees are going to be once it loads up. Yeah, so commission is the fees actually. So um, I'm not going to tell you who you should choose. You should do your own research. For me, I did a little bit of research and I found Polkadot Pro. Um, these guys on their websites, I checked them out. And right here, Polkadot Pro uh, Realgar, they have 500,000 of their own DOT and there's currently 2.8 million DOT. Um, the commission is only 1%, so I felt like they seem like a pretty good place. They have a nice website. They have a good amount of their own dot stake. There's um, the second largest stake or total, so that's who I'm going to go with. Okay, so once this loads up, you can go to Account Actions. And from Account Actions, you can click Add a Nominator, which is what you're going to be. You're not going to be a validator. That's the node. And we are going to choose this crypto extension. And you can choose whichever one you want. I had created a, another wallet within this um, platform, so that's why I have two. You're going to choose the number you want to bond, the number you want to stake. These will be bonded for 28 days, which means you will not be able to take them out. They will be locked. Um, you never want to bond or stake all of your tokens because it's going to take a little bit of tokens to transfer them in to transfer them out every time you want to restake so you never want to do that so i have a little bit extra i'm planning on doing 150 um and payment destination nope that's good i believe so stash account increase the amount in stake you can also do um, do not increase the amount in stake and put it into the same account or you can put it back into the controller account so for us we're gonna um, just keep it in there and continue to stake the amount that we earn just wanted to point that out that you do have that option if you wanted to put them into another wallet and start selling them off or something like that and click next and from here we're going to choose um who, we're going to choose the node validator and for me i'm going to go with polkadot pro okay so i pasted the address in make sure you copy that ahead of time because i had to restart my whole transaction um, once i went back to retrieve this and it will bring up the correct um the correct node so click on that one that is the address and go ahead and click bond and nominate you can also add a little bit of tip to help um, get this added into the blockchain and so i'm going to add zero one just a small little tip there and sign Okay, so once you sign the transaction, you're going to see waiting nominations, and you'll have your polka dot here. What this means is that it's waiting to be added, and it will be added to the next era, okay? And so to find out when the next era is, we come back to our staking overview, and from here it tells us how long until the next era. So for me, I have 2 hours and 58 minutes left until the next era begins, and you can also see the next epic and all that and the last block but at the next era so when this goes to 100 percent it starts the new era i will be added to the staking so this will then be um, complete and be staked as soon as we hit that next era and we will be good to go that's basically it for today guys i hope you liked this video if you did please smash that thumbs up share this video with any friends or family you think may also like this video please sub to the channel click the bell for notifications to be notified when i come out with future content as always happy mining let's get that coin